Chris Rock's brother recently revealed that Chris Rock refused to put him in any of his movies. He says, I only asked my brother, Chris Rock, for five favors ever. And he said no to every single one. Yeah, and the five, first five, five thing. Five favors is probably cap. It, no, but I'm just saying, the first, it probably is cap. He's probably thinking five big favors. Right, yeah. Like, you like, rich and famous now. I don't care about nothing else. I just asked is. you this five things, and it probably was nothing. And he said no to every single one. And it immediately made me think about that Jay-Z, Kevin Hart interview, where he said his cousin asked him for $4,800. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to flip it in this and that. Whatever the story was. It was only $4,800. Jay's a billionaire. He said no. They did the math on that. That was like equivalent to him giving him maybe a... A couple cents. <laughs> <laughs> and he said no. But, but, it's the principle. It's the principle, though. Because he yeah. said, you know, my cousin, he didn't understand money don't work like that, blah, blah, blah. Regardless of the fact, it was the equivalent of reaching in the couch, finding pocket change, and go, here you go, bro. Do what you got to do. You know it's probably cap. You know he probably needed for some other shit, but it was nothing to you. So Chris Rock, rich, famous, legend, legendary comedian, legendary actor, He's on. Hey, bro, can I get in a movie with you? Fuck no. Do y'all think when you make it, are you obligated to put your family on? You never obligated to put your family on, but what type of person are you that wouldn't put your family on? <laughs> like, so in a sense, I would I would probably feel obligated to do it regardless. And that's nothing. I'm already winning in life. Why would I not put my brother on? And on top of that, it's not like cuz it's not like trying to become something. He's an actor too, right? Yeah, Tony, he's an actor Rock. slash yeah. comedian too. He's on thirty. Like, what was it? Thirty Rock. Yeah. Right? So or no, that's that's. Uh, that's it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Not like he's just out here on some dope or something, or he's not trying to do something productive with whatever he's asking you for. To me, it's to a point where it's down there like you want to be the only nigga that's that's cracking. Like you as big as you gonna get, Chris Rock. Like let your <laughs> let your brother eat, girl. Like he did all type of shit. Like nigga, I don't understand why would you not? And if if, if it's really five favors or whatever it might be, why would you not want to? Like. If I got a movie deal and saying they offer me and I got a chance to get you in the movie with me, yeah, I'm going to try to get you in there. Whatever type of layup a nigga can do. So I, I don't see in a sense of whatever reason, unless you got some undermining hate against him or y'all got some old beef from <laughs> kids or some shit. Like, they don't make no sense. Hey, they I'm, said I'm, this is why everybody hate Chris. Yeah, <laughs> fast, yeah. They said, y'all thought that that Will Smith slap or something. Wait to cut brother she cut again. He I'm, finna yeah. slap the, uh, the dog I'm, shit out of Chris. I'm always under the sentiment of you, you, what is it, what is the saying? You teach a man to fish, right? You feed, you feed him forever. Whatever you give him fish, he, he, he eats for that day. Whatever that is. I'm more so on the side of, I don't want to enable anybody or feel like I'm somebody's crutch. So in the, in the case of where maybe... If you're not willing to perform for this, then I might say no. If I mean, you're willing to, asking for the opportunity. If, if, I'm just saying if you're willing to, if, but it could be, is he asking for an opportunity as in like, let me audition for a role or give me No, a role? nigga, you my brother, nigga. I need some nepotism, nigga. Put yeah, me in a movie, exactly. nigga. I, I, let I, me shine. I'll I get play what you're any saying. Role, Fuck you mean, it nigga. It don't matter. Like, nigga, Put it, me in a movie, it nigga. It ain't like this just some bum ass nigga on the street trying to ask you for money. Like, no, because it's productive in life and trying to just reach greater heights in life. The same that he might is, you might inspire him. He might need you to show him because you're actually so successful to the point he's trying to learn some game from you and with an opportunity to, you could be able on the set to teach him like how you become so good at your acting in, in, in a sense. And and yeah. this ain't like, okay, I put you in three movies and you sucked. Like, right. I can't keep doing I, it. The directors is on me yeah. of like, I gave you your shot, bro. The nigga said he said no five times. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, can I get in an uh, episode everybody hate Chris? Yeah. Nigga said, fuck no. I think he barely put him in that, didn't he? Like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even think, remember I, seeing I the end of like an extra, like walking to the store or something. You be like, yeah, that's <laughs> it, you walk out. This is why the Wayne's family, the Wayne's brothers are underrated and don't get their flowers. They put their whole family on. I don't give a fuck if they don't feel you got the talent or not. Yeah. You related to me? And I got access at putting you on, I'm throwing you in there. I don't give a fuck. It is what it is. They mad at LeBron for, oh, LeBron, he wouldn't have got drafted. Nigga, okay, probably wouldn't have. So what? Nigga, his dad's LeBron James. I'm using my power to put you on, as we all should. I don't give a fuck. Niggas hit me up all the time. Hey, bro, you want to get on my pod? Yeah, for sure, but I'm bringing woo-wah-wah. I'm bringing they, bro. You see how they bled magic? <laughs> 
When Cud tried to talk about LeBron sitting here talking about you tell his son to go to the D League, he said, You need to tell your son to go to the WNBA. <laughs> 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 like, don't, you not allowed to talk yeah, about sons, exactly. nigga. Exactly, that's crazy. But this, what you feel about his shit, nah, man? I'm listen. I'm a hundred group. Listen, we just talked about nepotism. I remember we said this on the episode, bro. At my job, if I got the juice, nigga, y'all got the juice. If you willing to work, if you willing to put in the work, I got you. Just like you just said, his brother said, put me on. I want to learn. That's your, I feel like that's our responsibility. First of all, us as blacks in America, we don't even have a lot of opportunity to succeed. So if one of us make it, it is your opportunity to throw a lifesaver back to the household, bro. You got at least, vacation ain't going to be lit if I'm the only one with money. Everybody got to come off my pocket. I'd right. rather put everybody in position where y'all may not be as successful as me, but guess what? You can hold your own. You know what I'm saying? You got a few M's in your bank. If I'm a multi-millionaire, you having a few hundred thousand in your, your bank account is still it's putting you on. It's more enjoyable. Yeah, you're yeah, still... Yeah, it's more enjoyable because now, not only that, I'm creating generational wealth for not only me, but for your household. And then our, all our kids will be successful. I feel like that's your right to do that shit. That's what we're supposed to do. That's selfish shit, man. That's that slave mentality shit of like, it's not enough opportunity for anybody. It's money for everyone. I'd like to hear Chris Rock. I would like to hear Chris Rock now come out and defend himself and see, you know, or say as to why he, he didn't give him the movies. I would like to see that before I say anything else because it's the same thing with the 4800. Like, yeah, I could give it to you, but... If you're not coming to me with a real formulated plan and I feel like I don't have to do, I don't have to. So if I your brother come to you and say, to. hey, bro, I need 50 cent. He ain't got no plan on nothing. If he needs 50 cents. I need 50 cents, two quarters. Do he have to have a formulated plan for that? I mean, that's a, di that's a different scenario. How? He's a billionaire. $4,800 is the equivalent of you giving your brother Put it 50 like cents. This. Put it like this. If I seen a homeless nigga on the street and he asked me for 50 cents. Am I gonna give it to no, him? No, your brother, your family, your cousin, not a homeless. I might nigga. not. I might not give a nigga fifty cents if I know him to fuck it off. Your cousin? My cousin. If I know my cousin to fuck it you off. You a different type of nigga. What you mean? If you know, if so if you if you know this nigga, you get this nigga money twice a week, and every time you get this nigga money, come, wait, wait, hold no, on. You can't say twice a week. Okay, the okay, you, you, money. okay, he, okay. <laughs> if he fucks off money, if he. My brother. How do we? Okay, but bro, this is my thing. Can you're I get fifty cents? But bro, you're you're I'm saying this as if you don't ever know how many opportunities he may have asked or how many favors he asked. He's saying five. You don't. We don't know how many favors this nigga has asked. So if I'm the nigga who is able to help you with favors, and if maybe you fucked off multiple, why am I then gonna keep extending my hand? We're not saying favors. We're saying movies. To he be, said to be on five point. favors though, and he said no. So, so I'm what, like, what, what we just been talking about is movies though. We've been yeah. sitting here saying movie. The, roles, the only so. favor we knew was. No to the movie. So I'm not even speaking about the other five. I just assume they have something to do with him being famous and having a position. That's what I'm assuming because he immediately said he wouldn't even put me in a movie. So that's what I'm getting at. I got a brother. A brother. Fuck it. This ain't no cousin. Nothing. Nigga, my brother look just like me. I'm not going to put cut in a movie. And you, you putting random niggas in your... Like, what are we talking about? Cause we came out the same mama. I get what he's saying about giving out money. But, I, but I'm going to just say this. Giving, op giving opportunity and giving out money is two separate things. Right. I do feel like once you keep giving out money and they keep trying to use you, then you have the right to say no. But if a motherfucker's asking for an opportunity where if they working towards their craft, say a prime example, bro, if your kids want to get into the podcasting business and you come, y'all become successful, right? Don't even feel like that's your duty to have your son to do uh, intern work, to do the cleanup, the microphone check before y'all? Hell yeah, so he can be able to understand yeah, how, to build, how yeah. to build the fucking empire. That's just what I'm saying. I feel like it's a difference between sending somebody up with opportunity than giving money. But at the end of the day, like you said, if you teach him how to fish, he will have that opportunity. So put him in position so we can have that opportunity to be successful. Are we the, not? But, but the point, <laughs> but the point, y'all act like a billion dollars, nah, girl. But see, y'all going two different things. Y'all keep going from Jay Z to this to to this oh, nigga. Yeah. No, no, I, I I'm saying that. I know because he's saying a billion dollars. Yeah, but a billion dollars. Once I give you forty eight hundred, everybody in this motherfucking room gonna want forty eight hundred. Or this is gonna keep being a reoccurring thing. But for me, it depends. Like. I'm already be trying to set people up in positions to where you ain't got this. Don't got to be fucking happening in the first place. Or I might let you work for it. You know what I'm saying? Don't trip. I give you that 4800. Come work for me, like you said, an opportunity. So I might give you the opportunity. But for my brother to be Chris fucking Rock, and I'm a, a actor or whatever else I'm doing, we in the same lane. And you're you're predominantly better than me at it. You're you're more successful. You have way more knowledge about it. You can get more opportunities. You can get me in more doors that I can never get in. Why would it, why would that ever be a problem? I don't give a fuck how many favors you ask me for. Now, if I tell you yes or no, that's gonna be that's 
It's not gonna always be yes, but nigga, I don't care, nigga. Like he could have put the, that booty tag, for, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He put that for the most tag. part, I'm gonna put you on. And most of that you ain't gonna have to ask. But I'm a we more so I'ma tell you like nah, cause you was trash. Like you tried out and that shit didn't work, huh? But I'm gonna give you rolls to where we're gonna complete it because we got the money to go behind it. And if it if it crack, it crack. If it don't, it don't. We're gonna find your niche as an actor. Now, if it's like, all right, bro, I got you set up for these auditions. And Cud just don't even show up. Like, oh, man, I got fucked up last night, bro. Cud do that three, four times. And now he coming out. My bro won't put me in the movie. No, bitch ass nigga. You fucked them opportunities off. Right. But for a nigga to just bold face, nah. And I'm just going off what his brother said. Like he said, we ain't heard from Chris yet. But there is a trend of a lot of overly wealthy people saying they're not giving their family any opportunity because they had to go get it on their own. So now it's like, you got to go through what I go. Th- I got to go through. Like Bill Gates said, he ain't giving his kids shit. That's crazy to me. You got unlimited money. You can't, you could can spend damn near a million dollars every day for the rest of your life and never go broke. Jackie Chan said the same shit. And you're not going, like you brought these kids in I the think world. I think they're thinking is just, and I mean, That's crazy maybe with to somebody me. like Bill Gates and Jackie, I feel like it's more like just a different level of thinking. Like I don't have to give you, you can get money at any time. Go do whatever you do. If you ultimately fail, your dad is Jackie Chan. Your 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 dad is Bill Gates. Like, go do what you do. But some people, I feel like, with a lot of money, want to instill because it's very hard to run off the wayside with "I have money" and just and do whatever. So I feel like some people want to instill that work ethic and sort of that sense of urgency in their lives. And maybe that could be that you can't because again, you don't know these people's situations. So you can't just say because I have a million dollars. I got to give you money and there can be no pretenses just because of blood. No, that's not the way it works because that's not the way it worked for you. And even though I should make it simpler for you, I still have to make you understand the essence of work. Who knows if that's the case that took place with so, so, Tony Rock? Who so, knows if Bill Gates feels like his daughter is a snob so, and he's so, like, you need to learn so some shit. Same that, with Jackie. If that's the case, it y'all raised them. It you made that. them. <laughs> so if, they, if they're a snob or they're not... But a lot of times work, people raise their kids and they still do wrong. It don't mean it you a bad, you're necessarily a bad saying, parent, though. though. This is what I'm saying. You're raising them. You're instilling the work ethic. You're instilling the knowledge. You're instilling the shit that you learned out of life. If it was able... If you able to become to that point, you're raising these kids and regardless, it's your fault at the end of the day. So how you many parents raise you... somebody to be an upstanding citizen and they go out and they murder somebody matter. and go to jail? That's what I'm saying. But are those like... parents bad parents, though? I didn't say nobody was a bad parent. Or are they? So you're, you're saying that you they're saying? complicit I'm in somebody. For you not to feel like you're not going to leave your kids no money when you raised them and brought them in the world that they didn't give them even know nothing about, you brought them here. So to say, oh, you're not, you need to learn how to be successful. The only thing I can think of is that the person you become as you're trying to be successful, but to sit here and say, I'm not leaving my kids shit, but I'm going to go give it to some bunch of... I'm going to go give it to anybody it. else that I don't know besides the people that, I don't believe that. it should go to. I'm going to give don't it to some it. random charity yeah. ran by somebody else's kids, but my kids ain't getting shit. I now, don't I don't agree with endlessly supplying them with everything they ask for. They need to learn delayed gratification. They need to learn the struggle in some form or fashion Maybe not in the sense of the way you did because you came from a different environment. So they could never learn that struggle. Do people do and they shouldn't have to go through that type of struggle. That's the purpose do of we, you that's having what I'm kids. Say, exactly. That's the purpose. Do, do we, why do we encourage people having to learn to go through this, some more shit? Now, you can, it's, it's other ways to develop your mind to be strong without having to feel like you got to suffer the way I suffered. Like, no, you can suffer in different forms we, uh, and learn certain shit. The same way niggas take sports and activities and become different type of men off of just that type of discipline. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't just got to be, or you got to be oh, poor, broke, and all this shit. Like, no, you can teach them niggas how to learn how to manage money. You can teach them niggas to go learn about financial literacy. You can show them different ways to where they're not just uselessly moving crazy. Right. But, but that's the whole point. How do you know that that's not the, the thing that these parents are doing? How do you know that being under Bill Gates, that's not what you're getting? Like you're saying, the things that are being instilled in him. If you're making shit like Microsoft, you would think that, some of those traits would be passed down. So I feel like you would more so want them to work for it. I'm, we saying the same thing because I'm not saying you shouldn't give your kids something. We not saying make, the same thing. But bro. to make it... These sim- niggas said I'm not giving my kids to, shit. To make it... I don't, I don't believe that Just Bill like Gates, Shaq said, nigga, my money is my money. I'm rich. I, I ain't giving y'all I, shit. But they, you think that his sons are not taken care of. They're not going to be taken care of for the rest of their life. You honestly think that, bro. I don't honestly think nothing. I'm I just going off what they say. I'm not even going to come out and say take, no shit like not that. Take, care of their kids for the rest of their lives. I don't. I truly don't believe that because they're taken care of right now and all of them are grown. 
Bill Gates, kids, everybody growing. So it's like, all that is just he say, she say. These niggas is rich. All these niggas got money forever. So you want to go out and be a fucking philanthropist and get it on your own, go ahead. You can always go back to Bill Gates. It's a lot of rich niggas that you'll never know are rich and they work at a missionary and then you find out that they have money. So you you got Bill Gates Because money. of that. Your kids turn 18. They, they want to go out in the real world on their own. I don't want to live with you no more, pops. Mm -hmm. You telling them, all right, go figure that shit out. I ain't giving you shit. If, if you, you fail, come back. It, yeah, because if you want to go out there and you want to go on your own and you know you have a support system, I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to tell you why, because I had family who allowed me to move out, right? I was about 21 years old, 20 years old. I moved out. You want to do that? Go ahead. But you have the support system to come, to come Did back. Did they have Bill Gates money? It doesn't. Listen, and this is why it makes even more sense, because I went out, I stumbled around, I kind of figured it out and I didn't. I came back for a little bit with more knowledge, learned more knowledge from them. Did well, they I, have wait, Bill I Gates money? But you're still on a smaller level. This is no, what I'm telling you what's Bill, happening. Listen, if, if, if I instill in you the type of knowledge and game that I learned becoming Bill Gates, it ain't no coming back. It ain't no stumbling back. Okay. And here go, here go a head start. What you want to do? You can Boom, instill here go knowledge in a kid, but they might not necessarily. Bro, it, the person interprets it different than what you give it. Just because you give 100 doesn't mean they're going to take and receive 100 and know what to do with it. So what I, why I was using my example was because you said if, if I was Bill Gates, yes, I would send him out. Because my parents let me do that, but I still had to a certain degree, something to fall back on. And that made me feel more comfortable to take chances. But they didn't now, even get sent If you if, a knucklehead, then it's a different, the it's a, it's Gates, a different scenario. Trump, all them niggas had a small loan of a million dollars to kickstart their company. So they didn't even really go okay, just but, but, start but, it. But again, that might be the lesson that they're trying to learn. We are trying to give our kids everything. Maybe they're trying to make it a little bit harder for them because of the access that they but have. But I'm saying they didn't that have to get it from the, from the ground up. It, it they, they had it, a head start It doesn't matter. They got a million dollars to come down on Trump. And he became fucking Trump. He might have not been Trump without that million dollar loan. What you think about it, Shortcut? Yeah, yeah. Listen, y'all, man, y'all shot. So, so with the kids thing, I'm gonna say this: we want our kids to be humble. We want our kids to be successful, but we really want our kids to be appreciative. We don't want we want the kids to be humble and understand where this money is coming from, but we want them. We don't want them to be spoiled brats. So, how do we? Prevent them from being spoiled brats by giving opportunity to, for them. I do believe you need to have your kids. You don't necessarily need to do the shit where you give them the biggest extra, extravagant shit like for 16th birthday, go all out like they did on MTV Cribs and all that other shit. No, you keep them modest. You let them know you put them in a good school. You let them know what life is about, but this is where it takes to require to become successful. You give them the game, you put them in position to win, and you want your kids to be more successful to you. You leave a legacy. That's the purpose of us having kids, to have the next generation live, carry on, and then y'all have the better uh, family tree lineage to move forward. Nobody wants their kids to suffer. End of the day, any good parent that I know don't want their kids to suffer. Yeah, there's going to be trials and tribulations where your kids are going to bump their head. You got to allow them to understand what right and wrong. But at the end of the day, my nigga, if you got money, my nigga, we're never going to let our kids just fall in, in no form or fashion, bro. We're going to put them in the best position so they be successful. Now, if they don't want to do the job that I'm trying to put them in, then that's on them. But at the end of the day, bro, we don't want none of our kids to fall, bro. We're going to put them in position to win, and that's what the case go be. At the end of the day, no matter what Shaq say, they say they ain't going to give them the money, they somehow, some way, go put it where in the trust fund, where the property going to be taken care of. Nigga, they going to be set. All them kids is going to be set. Ain't them going to be falling off broke, my nigga. The whole point, but for me, though, if I got Bill Gates money, I'm not, I'm not finna give a fuck. Like, I want you to live your best life here on this earth this one time that you here. Oh, so to, to make you go through unnecessary shit makes no sense to me. Only thing I would probably tell my kids is, look, you got, you got full access to my bread. I might even manage it for them to an extent. I'm going to teach them certain shit, but you have to chase a purpose. That would be the only yeah. thing I tell y'all. You have, you have the will now, the freedom to live life how it's supposed to be lived. Yeah. The same way what they tell us when you when you a kid, like, or do something you love. You never have to work a day in your life. And that'll be my only thing. You chase a purpose, you got access to the bread. You got access to taking trips. You got access to getting whipped. Go to you got access to eating yeah. the finest shit, nigga. You got access to all that. But long as you chasing some type of purpose... We good. So let me ask you yeah. this. What about setting standards for them? Like, what's reasonable? So like, hey, once you graduate high school, either you going to college or you go work for me. You well, know what I'm saying? What the fuck you going to college for when you got Bill <laughs> Gates? Well, I mean, no, no, no. What I'm, no, I'm no, but saying, this is what, it's yeah, a purpose. Yeah, no, 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 but I'm saying, I'm saying, I get what you're saying. For like, like business no. management, no. whatever the case may be, look, my nigga, you got to do. What do you want to do? 
saying. Let me finish saying what I'm saying. No. What do you no, want to no. do in college? No, it doesn't. You're Period. You own the company, girl. No, look, <laughs> no, but you still no, got to know. But you still got to be business savvy, yeah, though, know, my nigga. Look, you can't just give a nigga. What are we talking about? People go to college to be able to chase a purpose. They're not going to college because they want to go to college. They're going to college because now I got to get a degree to chase this purpose. Or I'm going to college for this. But, but he got a network. And, but I'm saying it's still networking. No, it's still having saying, development. Look, friend, you still got to find who you are, my this, nigga. This you, is why you chase a purpose. If you're lit, if you, But I'm saying college you, can be honest. Most no. people go to college don't know who they are. Right, exactly. But that's where they find no, them. Look, hell no. no. They find a fucking career and it be if, a if, debt slave. There's so many people. But right, you're not going to be in debt if you got Bill no, Gates. No, it don't matter. But look, there's so many people working jobs they would never work if they had bread, it's like I'd rather be doing oh, this. God. I'd yeah. rather be trying to be an actor. I'd rather be trying to make some music. I'd rather be doing something different than. But I gotta go to fucking work all these fucking hours, and I'm going through all this shit to get outside of what they're doing full time right now. We have Bill Gates money, nigga. None of you niggas, niggas are being here way more. Niggas wouldn't be doing none of that shit. But the whole point I'm saying is chasing the purpose is that nigga be on the podcast on the plane, yeah. nigga on the exactly. trip. Nigga. What's that shit? Can we do the hey. travel podcast? Yeah. Like, look, I like it this. So that's what y'all be doing oh, no, right now, nigga. To finish my point, what I'm saying is why they're chasing a the purpose, they're <laughs> going to be learning the life lessons that they need to learn to be to become the person that they need to be in life in general. So even with that coming, they're going to end up making money to the point where my money will no longer have to be their money. They're going to keep becoming successful as I just be their crutch. Versus me just, like you say, just giving them the spill, spill, spill. But you're not going to have the mental, the pressure of being ever being broke. That's that's a whole different animal. But let me ask this, though. Yeah. What's the real purpose of life? So we say, oh, they got to struggle. And if they fail, they come back. I believe men do have to struggle to become the best version of themselves. But it's different right. types of struggle. Exactly. It's a different yeah. type of struggle where I can create the type of struggle you need as a man to be more superior than somebody who fucking grew up the way I grew up because now you got the resources to to deal with the struggle. You got the resources to kind of enhance the struggle and create a different type of... I mean, just think about if you had all the free time, you didn't have to go to work right now. What would you be doing? Oh, I spend a lot more time with my kids, my purpose. You know what I'm saying? It'd be a lot more... I believe every man should take a martial art at some point, some type of contact oh, yeah. sport, physical sport to push themselves and, and, and see where they can take the, the beast that's inside of them. Most men don't have the time to do that between work, kids, hobbies, side hustles. Just eliminate all of that. That's, that's time to build that alone. Most men are defenseless, can't defend themselves at all because they just lack the time to be able to because they got to go out here and scramble to get resources and shit like that. Most men don't know how to shoot a gun properly. That takes training. You got to learn that. So if you ain't going to the military, when does the average guy that working nine to five? You go to work, your son got football practice, your daughter got volleyball practice, your wife want to spend time, you got to come home, you got to work on the garage. Like, and then what you what? You only off for what, two days a week? Come on, you only off two days a week, then you running errands that you couldn't run throughout the week. So most men can't even reach the best version of themselves because they're going through the struggle. Like, nigga, life has no purpose. Life, meaning, is what you give it. What you decide your life want to be. If you want to become a millionaire, then that's the purpose of your life. Mm. If you want to be a fucking bum on the street, that's the purpose of your life. You want to live off the grid, that's the purpose that you decided life should be. But there's no built-in purpose. So like bro was saying, what's your purpose? Chase that. Here go unlimited funds to chase that shit. Because you only live once. So is there a difference between a purpose and a meaningful purpose? A purpose? No, everything is going to be meaningful because you're still going to learn the lessons that come with well, that. Well, he said bum on the street. I'm nah, just saying for an example. The, but, like, but you, well, you, it's your perspective. Everything, yeah. this, this is why they say certain things is already written. The life is already written is because the train you decide to jump on is going to take you to that destination. So if you decide to jump in the streets, that train is going to take you to two places that we know, yeah. dead or in jail. So that's already written. This is why I understand when they say certain things is written. The way we're doing what we're doing and we're catching attraction, it's because it's already written. But the life has to test you. That's a different type of suffering you got to go through in a sense of not necessarily suffering like I'm hurting, but suffering over mental battles. You know what I mean? Because life is mostly all the mental warfares that we face every yeah. day when you wake up. So I just think when you start living with a purpose, that's like he said, you're chasing your purpose. You start to live on purpose. Everything already exists is what he's getting at. Whatever life you dream about exists on yeah. this earth already. Whatever you want to obtain in life, it's it already exists. It's, it's here. here already. You got to go get it. Like you said, you got to jump on that train. 
It's unlimited trains. Whatever the fuck you want to do in life. Oh, I want to be NFL, lawyer, doctor, whatever. There's a route there already that already exists. It's already yeah. it's in nothing, the world. It's nothing new under the stars. You yeah, just yeah, have NFL. to go yeah. get it. So why would I unnecessarily make you struggle and possibly not get it if I brought you in the world? You didn't ask to come in the world. You didn't ask to come struggle or nothing. I brought you here. And I got the fuck. This is what you want to do? Okay, maybe that don't work. Cool. You want to go do this? You got unlimited funds and resources to experience whatever the fuck you want to. So let me, and let me ask y'all this, because at what point do y'all ever, do you stop becoming a parent because they get to a certain age? Never. Because niggas don't mind doing, giving the best of their kids when they're young, the finest clothes, the, the newest shoes, and whatever the case it may be. Even though you still treat your kids, but you still might make them do chores. But you're still not going to let them be in here struggling. You feel me? You still teach them certain things of growing up. And I think it's the same thing as you being grown. Like, you still could be treating them. You're still going to look at your kid as your kid. Like, you're grown, but I'm still got to treat. I still got to teach you a lot of knowledge that I know. I, I don't think you stop being a parent. No. But at the same time, you don't want to build defenseless kids. Yeah, no, you don't, so you don't, it's just like animals not, in the not, wild. You're not enabling them. So yeah. I agree with... I think me and Kali, we just disagree on small sentiments, but the overall sentiment is like a bird. It's like, hey, I'm throwing all my kids out the nest. If you fly, you fly. If you don't, you die. And, and it, it, you don't want your you kid to go out here training. and die. You no. feel me? But you put them in a the proper training so they can soar. But I'm, I'm going to make sure you know how to yeah. soar when I kick your ass out this nest. Yeah. If I got the resources to send you to flight school to make sure you don't, and I just go, well, nigga, I had to figure it out without flight school, so you might die. That's fucked up to me. No, that's I'm my, sending your ass to flight school. That's basically the same. Make sure that's, you soar. That's the point I'm making. Even though I got the money, but I'm I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know, or mm. you're going to go learn it. It's not that, but you still have access at my money. So, I don't know. <laughs> Look, Kyle, no, like, y'all didn't pack me out, No, girl. because it's I, three I, on one. I, I, uh, I feel like I'm saying that. I feel like I'm saying that if I was Bill Gates and I had a million dollars and my son or daughter said, hey, this is what I want to go do, okay, go do it. Go try to do it on your own. If you can't, then hey, come back. And, they, and they, that's like yeah. they, that's like if your kid want to go to school, you, so you're not gonna give them the money to go. If they want to go to school, you get. Yeah, of course, you get the money to go to school. That's good. That's to go to school. So that's that. Yeah. Or you have want to have a business? Okay, well, you know, get your LLC. Then come and formulate a business plan and show us, and then run some mock trials. You know what I mean? You want to be in investing? Okay, well, let's see how you look at stocks and how you look at you know grass or the the bears and the bulls like. There's things that so you can't them, do. But you still going to fund them for that, right? Um, well, certain things, a lot of things you don't have to fund somebody for. If you want to go to school to be a doctor or something, yeah. But Cut you got to cap, do, man. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of things you cap. don't have to fund people to be. You don't have kids. To, yeah, I guarantee you have we to, have kids because sentiment going to change. It ain't no fucking way. You going to have the money sitting right here. It's disposable. I tell you to go make the money now. <laughs> go, <laughs> go figure that shit yeah, out. Yeah, go make the money. And then when you make the money, now go go pay and go get the classes when I could have skipped five That's years of that shit. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Because you got more money than they got time. Money, you could you can't get yeah. that time. That's not what I'm saying. If you want to go to school and you're paying for the school, that's cool. But if you like I said, How? If you want you're funding them. So if you want to go to school, you got to go out here, go to junior college, get the grades, be able to transfer, go get a loan, yeah. go go get the grants and all of that no, shit. I'm, four or five. You know what I'm saying? You got to go through that time to get to that university if you don't get a scholarship. If you got the bread to skip all of that and just pay no, I'm not saying, your kids. No, no, I'm not saying to work. Um, for a scholarship or go to go to school, I'm saying you could fund that. That's going to school, but then even then, you you pay to for somebody to go to school for a semester or a year, and they they fuck up. I'm not gonna do it again. I'm not gonna do it again. No, no that that I agree. <laughs> I'm with. not gonna do it again. So it's like that's all I'm saying. And in my real life, I've had that ability to go, like I said, and bump my head and still have the the, the people behind me to say, okay, like fuck it, come back. Because a lot of times. I, I'm I'm 27, right? But I can remember being 18, 19, and wanting to be without and wanting to say, yo, I'm going to do this, 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 and this on my own. And sometimes kids are rambunctious and they want to go do that. So if you want to go do that, go do that. So I you, feel like we're looking at it from <laughs> no money. But people that have a whole bunch of money, maybe things and the focus is just completely different than what we think. So That's you die. Your money going to a charity or your kids? Um, If I'm rich as fuck, my money going to both. My money going to both, charity and kids, because I want kids to eat that aren't mine, and I want my kids to eat. My shit ain't going to no charity, cause my yeah. shit going to my kids, my fam, and, I, and that's I, it. So let me say this: what I, I, about. generational so, wealth. So, my shit ain't going so, to no charity. Game. It's going to the. Fa Bill Gates money, you don't even have a number. You don't even know what. How much I don't give a fuck. The the unlimited number is going to the to fam and y'all. 
I'm leaving a legacy with y'all. So, what y'all do. so let me tell you this. So my thing is this. Why do it? Why get a charity when you can start a foundation so you can give out the money where you want it to go? Fuck all that charity shit because the charity go pocket it and do what they want to do with it at right. the end of the day. Start your, start your foundation. What do you believe in? What's your purpose is? Let's say, what do you believe your purpose is? And then you help out the people who have the same purpose as you. Then you help out your family. I feel like that's the way to go. It's going to my bloodline. I made this. I made, Again. I made this with y'all. And that's, go, the, and that's, the 10, 10, my grandkids' grandkids going to be having dollars. And that's fine. And that's cool. And nothing wrong. Because you know yeah. why? You work for that. I'm just saying, if you are going to get, if you do want to give it to non-family members, I feel like, why not start a foundation? You put the person that you love, your, one of your family members in charge to run a foundation and say, look, I want to help these type of people that believe in this purpose that I want to, you know, give back to. Regardless of whatever the purpose is, Let's just say, for an example, for me, if I if I coach football, hey, I want to help black inner city kids. I'm going to start a foundation for this, for inner city black kids who want to play football. That's what I feel like my purpose is. That's what I want to send my money to. Can't nobody tell me nothing different because I put this money in it. Right. But I just feel like when I got that, that X amount of money, I'm already been blessing so many people on earth that when I'm gone, like I said, I'm just, it's my family going to have it. But so many families, I'm already had touched by the end, like probably the made more millionaires. Like I said, man. My family going, my money going to my fam, period, point blank. If they fuck it off, they fuck it off. But hey, we only here for a short amount of time. And the goal is to experience everything you possibly can in life while you're here in this dimension. So life has no built in meaning, it's what you make it. And I'm gonna make the hell out of it. You, you can't even, you can't even operate. Fuck all that. You can't even operate from your highest, your highest self or your highest consciousness if you're you're down bad. It's, it's down there impossible to, to be the best version of yourself. You're not financially in a place or financially free, I should say, or ain't leaving enough to be where you're, where you're stable. It, it's actually dopamine giving, too. When you give back, it actually makes you feel better, too, as well. You feel me, your spirit, your whole, you feel more enlightened when you actually giving to somebody. You know what I'm saying? It's actually better to give. It sounds so cliche, but it's actually better to give to than to receive. No, you know what right. I'm saying? Hey, look. <laughs>